Hello, Corey couldn't make it today. Allow me to introduce myself. See, my name is Corey. Now it's fitting that that swagless, let's face it, unattractive guy wasn't able to make it in because today we're gonna be playing a game that's all about me. Super seductive. And Corey doesn't fail, you see. There's Corey and then Cole Ray. Cole Ray is the superior, let's face it, more attractive version. So let's do this. Hey. Super seducer. <laughs> yeah, that is me. Hey mate, Richard Larrina, your friendly neighborhood Who seduction guru this? here, and welcome to guru. Super Seducer. I'm so excited to be getting it into your hands. We had a fantastic time creating it, and I hope that you have a real blast playing it. But it's also going to be really interesting, I hope, and psychologically challenging, because we used real dating principles in coming up with the game. So go ahead, jump. I don't need this. <laughs> Okay, so we see this girl over here walking. Obviously, she's eyed me. She sees my swagger. She sees my shoulders, you know. Talk to her from a few meters in front of her. Pretend to be blind. Wolf whistle. What am I, an animal? Wait until she passes you, then talk to her. Walk next to her. Wait until she passes you, then talk to her. Trust me. Hey, excuse me, just want to ask you something really I'm busy. quick. First Expose of all... Him! That failed because you gave, you made it too easy for her to just walk past you and brush you off too close to the side. It means that she will likely do that as a reflex like 90% of the time. Excuse me? First of all, if that was me, it wouldn't have happened. You see, I thought I was going to be playing this myself. I can't. What can I do with this? Okay, okay. Cole Ray, do not get rattled. <sighs> we can talk to her from a few meters. Okay, let's do that. Hey, hey, hey. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her. I and know what to do. I just saw you wanted to let you know you look very elegant. Let's go. Hey, excuse me. Can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. I uh, love this skirt as well. <laughs> it's really summery. Thank you. Oh. This is good because you've given her a nice compliment. It's direct. It's made her smile and it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice confident way to start in the street. So what's your plans for today? I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? So yeah. cute. <laughs> and ducks or squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, almonds. Hot, almonds? What the yeah. That's is their favorite, this man? It? it seems to be. That's nice. Well, they're really cute, aren't they? They are very cute. You yeah, like animals? Fun. I do. Mm, yes. what? That mm. sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. And what are you doing today? All right, here we go. Ask her questions to get her to do most of the talking. You do most of the talking. You're so beautiful. Would you lean in for the kiss? Lean in for the kiss? You listen here, you cave man. Leave the decisions to Cole Ray, okay? Lean in for the kiss. What are we in fourth grade? We're not in Miss Smith's class anymore, dude. Girls, they like the assertion. You gotta be assertive, okay? Peep this, girls. Do you consider yourself a nine or? Snap out of it. Corey stutters. Corey doesn't stutter. Do you consider yourself 
at least an 8 out of 10 or higher, hit the DMs on Instagram. That's called being assertive. I'll ask her the questions. That's how this works. Do you live local around here somewhere? Yeah. That's nice. And do you spend a lot of time in this area? Um, I do, yeah. There's a nice coffee shop just down there. Have you been there? I have, um, but I'm going to meet a friend actually, so I need to go. Okay, <laughs> what's her name? Is it a he or a she, actually? In the beginning, the girl actually shouldn't do most of the talking, so you don't want to ask a bunch of questions. You want to make statements and do most of the talking yourself. Why are you coming off like a stalker? Do you live around here? Where's your, where's your, what's your address? Well, if you ask her the wrong questions, of course she's gonna walk away. You're supposed to say like, hey, do you wanna? Yeah, I was just walking. There's a nice park down there. And then I'm gonna meet some friends, but I've got like 40 minutes. And that's why when I saw you and I thought you looked friendly. So that's why I came over and said hi. Okay. okay. It was in the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that Why she has a chance to relax, girls over get here? comfortable, hire some bikes and go riding around the park. There's like a nice spot where they rent out bikes and it's on the lake. And yeah, whatever. but you, so, you ride bikes in there? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the, the suit on, okay. I'm sitting really up. Bro, put me in the game. Developers. Super Seducer 2. Channel name Corey Kenshin. It's called assertion, ladies and gentlemen. Corey does not assert himself. Corey does. Use checking out her earrings as an excuse to touch her. You creep. You just met the lady. Man, this caveman. I compose yourself Corey. find an excuse to take off your shirt <laughs> maybe i could pull that off you hear that they call me the iron man <coughs> oh my god <laughs> start touching yourself they can't <laughs> okay that's funny ask her what she does for a living because she looks artistic of course and tell me what you do because you you look a bit artistic <laughs> um, well, I actually work in non-profit non charity, yeah. Ah, uh, I like making profits. So what no, do I'm you joking, do? I'm joking, I'm <laughs> joking. I work in IT, but okay. no, that's cool. So you're not so focused on money, you like doing good things. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks. I'm focused on uh, money. No. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Asking what someone does is that kind of usual question that we always Ask, I get everything case, you want to right. Make Are you single? Introduce yourself. Ask her, her name and say it's yours too. Look up her skirt. <laughs> Assertive. Are you single? Are you single? Because get, someone as pretty as you, I, I don't know, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't really be single, could they? Um, no, I am. You are? Yeah. No way. Yeah. I'm so surprised. <laughs> are you? Well, now we can play ball. I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and am I single? Yes. Good. You got away with it, kind of. You could have found out the answer to your question of whether she's single or not in a sneakier way, and it would have been better. What kind of things do you like to do? I actually don't have a lot of free time. I work, oh, I work a lot. So when I'm not working, I like to be outside. Yeah, um, yeah I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Okay. Um, yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to stay sitting down. Not couch potato. Well, every now and then, but in general, no, more active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I do some active stuff, but actually I prefer you go when, active on a you know, bag of Cheetos and a Mountain Dew. And they like come to this, and I always say yes. Okay. But given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. Can I have your number, seller, on one of your hobbies? I like how casual you look. Oh, shut up. Listen to me, or listen. I need to meet some friends. 
Of course. Seem disinterested. L fellas, listen. I'm trying to help y'all out. Because Cole Ray, I, sometimes it's just hard being me. You know, I'm walking down the street and girl is like, yo, marry me, please. She getting on her, on her knee, pulling out a ring. I don't know where she got it. If you give her that fleeting interest, like you, ah, I, I like you, but I kind of got to go. You know, did she want to chase after you? If this doesn't work, <laughs> I'm a fraud. Okay, listen, like I said, I'm meeting those friends, but... Mm -hmm. Why don't you give me your number and we can um, keep in touch, maybe yeah, meet sometime? Yeah, sure, sure. There you go. Cool. Nice one. <laughs> Have fun. You too, see ya. <laughs> well done, you got a fake number. Turn around and die. The frick did you just... what? A little air in judgment. A real man can admit that. Of course, what I meant to do was just ask for it. Listen, what'd you say? Can I have your phone number? Oh, you know, no, I don't think so. No? Um, but it was really nice to meet you. I hope you have fun at the park. Okay. See ya. God! Oh, jeez! Oh, my God! Have you ever tried climbing? You know, like on these walls? And <laughs> I've heard of it. Um, I've always wanted to, but I haven't yet. You know, it's very cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been like four times, but it's really fun. Very good exercise and just really cool. So you should definitely try it. Yeah, I would like to. When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something. And a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. I knew now, why that. Don't you okay, so you said you like biking and rock climbing. Yeah. Um, any other like outdoor activities? Yeah, loads of stuff. Um, yeah. Racket sports. Like tennis? Um, yeah, tennis and also squash. You know what squash is? <laughs> it's the English thing. I don't know I about mean, most it, sports no. were invented in England, obviously, but I think they play it everywhere. It's, um, it's like when you're, you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back and you okay. can hit the ball like anywhere. And it, I think it's the best exercise. You're constantly running and... Yeah, yeah. it sounds it's very cool. kind of dangerous, but fun. Oh, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> the ball is only um, like that big, so even if it hits you, it's not too bad. Okay. You and can smash each other with, with the rackets, but <laughs> rarely happens. Hmm. You and should try it. I might sometime. Uh, you said you work in IT? <laughs> That's not appropriate. Programmer has some really boring whole rags on top of it. Yeah, I work in IT for this software company, but it's just it's so dry and boring, and every day is just repetitive, but you know, pays pretty good salary, so that's why I stick with it. Okay. If possible, you want to keep a nice positive tone, so this kind of response, although it's very common, is not the best. So do you always stop girls in the street? Do I stop girls in the street? No, of course not. That's a lie. Not too often, of course. No, not often at all, but I think when I'm single, when mm -hmm. I like the look of someone, I figure why not start a conversation because you never know what will happen. Yeah. Could become friends, could date, or just have a nice interaction. Why not, right? Definitely. This is the right choice because actually it's honest and it's disarmingly honest. So it's going to take her back a little bit, but it's going to also show that you're telling tr the truth, that she can trust you and show that you're confident enough to, to say that instead of making up some rubbish. So it's the right choice. Well done. Of course it is. Listen, I have a few minutes. Why don't we grab a coffee? Give her your number. You know, I live here and here. I need some friends. Listen, I need to meet some friends, but why don't you give me your number and we'll keep in touch and yeah. find the time to meet. Sure, that'd be great. Can you give me the fake number again? You did pretty well. You didn't get the very best result, which meant that you made a few decisions that weren't quite ideal, but you did enough to get the result and see the go again. You got the number, so well done. <laughs> well done. Don't freaking well done me. I knew That's it. That's correct. Okay, so that was the first mission. Oh, there's chapter two. Woo! 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope uh, Corey's absence wasn't too much of a bummer for today, but you got Corey instead. Did you really lose? Listen up, yeah. Man, name is Corey. I'm killing that, yeah. Uh, I'm getting all these girls like, yeah. I'm riding on my freaking bike. Uh, got spinners on it looking nice though. I see a pretty girl looking nice, bro. Hey, come to me. We bout to party lit. After that, listen to these bars I'm about to spit. C O R A Y Y. Cold Ray in the place, and you know why. I'm about to take your girl. After that, I like. And we gonna go fly a kite. You guys want to see more Super Seducer? Slice that like button, 50k likes. I told you, I'm asserted. Hey, what you doing in my office? Hey, lay off me, you caveman. Cause my name is Gary Kenton, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs>